Starting off with barbell rolls. It does finally feel good to not be so fatigued while doing this exercise because I didn't begin with deadlifts. Here you can see I've got the overhand grip and I do have a wider stance on the bar. The reason for this is because this does engage your upper back a lot more compared to having a closer grip. Now when I move on to the close underhand grip, this allows for me to tuck in my elbows a lot more and I feel the engagement not only in my lats, but I also get a huge bicep pump while doing this. Today is the first time I've ever tried mixing up two different muscle groups in one workout. And I do have to say that I did enjoy it quite a lot because by the time I've moved on to pull-ups after the incline bench, my back had rested sufficiently, meaning after the incline bench in this clip, I went ahead and did weighted pull-ups after not being able to do them for so long because of the way they were placed in my pool workout. And the feeling you get after doing a weighted body weight exercise without the weights, it feels so good because you just feel as light as a feather and you can really be explosive on the movement. If you are trying to get a very nice upper chest pump, I would highly recommend doing the incline bench. And the way I like to do it, or the way I've recently found out, is doing a warm-up set, obviously, because you don't want to injure yourself, and then doing your top set for many reps, then moving down the weight by 5 kg aside, maybe two times, and just doing as many reps till failure on every set. And this is assuming you're trying to get a pump and not building strength, because this wouldn't be optimal for building strength in any way. And then moving on to a bodyweight exercise, such as dips. One thing I want to place more focus on is bodyweight exercises but loading them up with extra weight. Because again, I used to load up dips and do them for many reps. This would be on an arm day, however, when I'm training triceps. So it comes to mind now, how would I structure my shoulder and arms day? Would I start off with the overhead press or would I start off with triceps or even biceps? When you see me performing dips, you can see that I go for a lot of depth. And for some people, this may be troublesome because you may not have the mobility to do so. But I feel this is comfortable for me and allows for me to get a very deep stretch. Now, if you want to target the triceps more, make sure you're pressing up and down in more of a straight fashion. Whereas if you want to increase engagement in the chest, incorporate a lean into your reps.